Hey, what is up guys? Klaus next here. I haven't done a handheld cell phone vlog in a while, so uh, feels good to be back. I wanted to talk today, um, well I wanted to reflect on my knowledge. I want to reflect on the things that I've learned. And um, the funny thing is, is that I feel like the more that I learn, the less that I know, or the, the increased awareness I have to the things that I don't know. So I've been learning for the past two years in university, I've been studying the body, kinesiology, and I've been learning about um, routines and the science behind exercise and I've taken blood pressure on exercise bikes I've, I've done the whole works right I've learned all about how the different components of uh, testing and creating routines and exercise programs for people and it's so funny because I learned all of these things about creating routines and all of that and then you look at like for example um, like people who do prison workouts right people in jail You've seen it on movies, documentaries, whatever, and they're jacked, right? Maybe they weren't jacked going in. Um, who knows, right? But you, you see clip, clips and videos um, from these documentaries or whatever of people in prison working out. Now, if you've studied the body, those aren't the cleanest reps, right? They are just kind of half pushing the weight. They're not going their full range of motion, right? They're not working out to their... Um, to the to the perfect science and the exercise philosophies and this and, and that and you know what these these prisoners like I'm using for example they're not going on YouTube and watching some athlete next videos on how to do a correct bicep curl they're just picking up heavy weight and they're curling it and they're doing some maybe crappy uh, half rep you know it's, it's not it's not a full rep but those guys are huge you know and that's kind of like um, like I was thinking about C.T. Fletcher yesterday, and um, like he's huge, right? And he he just picks up heavy things. He screams. He tells himself he's going to do it, and he does it. And that's that's so frustrating for some of us. And he gets a lot of backlash, and hate from the fitness community because his form sucks sometimes. You know, not like he's super strong, and his form is not always bad. But I mean. Um, the people in his videos, kind of that whole gym culture of just like screaming and lifting weights, their form isn't always the best. And that irks people like me because I've been studying form. This is going to be my my field and my career and my profession. And when I see people who aren't um, exercising with good form, it kind of, it triggers me. So what, what does that tell you? Um, is all my knowledge worthless? Like... You learn all the stuff and then you see someone in a prison just moving the weight with crappy form but they're yelling and screaming and um, this isn't just people in prison there's lots of people in the gym that you watch you know they've got a lot of weight on the bar and they're moving it not you know not the full way they got dumbbells they're kind of half wrapping it but they're huge right they got huge arms they got a huge chest and you got to wonder like how are they doing this how are they breaking the rules how did they find this loophole and what I've come to realize is that your body will adapt to whatever demands you give to it. That is how it's gonna work, okay? Your body doesn't care about all of this science and principles of training. Your body is going to adapt to whatever demands you give to it. So if you're going to keep grabbing heavy weight and screaming at yourself to lift it, your body's gonna adapt to that, right? Because your body ultimately wants to survive. It doesn't care about your form. It doesn't care about your, it wants, wants to adapt to the lifestyle you're giving it right that's like training for sports training for anything it adapts to the the um the adversity you put upon it so it's it's kind of funny that there's all these principles and the science behind exercise but it almost all goes out the window when you get a big guy in the gym who's screaming and he's the biggest guy in the gym you know it all comes down to um one principle i guess that makes sense and that is the principle of intensity and focus and how much energy you put into it so it's not always about having the you know the perfect routine you made the perfect program it's not always about like how smart you are and like you have this exercise this day this exercise this day you got to dumb it down a bit right you can sometimes just wipe the slate start from the basics the fundamentals and work us uh work work on your focus and your intensity because that's ultimately what's going to make the difference if you're not kind of into it, but you have the best routine of all time, your body's going to be like, I don't have to adapt to this, you know, why would I, like, I, I'm getting by, by not trying my hardest and not focusing, and I'm surviving, I'm alive today, just like I was yesterday, 
and uh, that's kind of the mindset that your body's gonna have. So you're gonna have to push yourself mentally, focus, intensity, those are the things you wanna take with you to the gym. And if you can do that and have a really good routine and a structured program, you're golden. That's all I want to talk about today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Class next out.